Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus and it is a blessing to be with you today. You know, it's one of the most serious problems we have, not only here in America, but worldwide. It's a vicious cycle of misery that destroys marriages, friendships, any relationships for that matter, and will absolutely destroy the person who gets trapped in it. Addiction isn't a new problem. And it's been around for many, many years. Listen to Solomon as he warns us about the misery and the cycle of addiction in Proverbs 23, starting at verse 29. It says this, Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has strife? Who has complaining? Who has wounds without cause? Who has redness of eyes? Those who tarry long over wine. Those who go and try the mixed wine. Do not look at the wine when it's red, when it sparkles in the cup and goes down smoothly. In the end, it bites like a serpent and stings like an adder or a viper. Your eyes will see strange things and your heart will utter perverse things. You will be like one who lies down in the midst of the sea, like one who lies on top of a mass, saying, they struck me, you will say, but I was not hurt. They beat me, but I did not feel it. When shall I awake? I must have another drink. You see, Solomon reminds us of the effects of addiction. They bring sorrows. They bring contentions, complaints. They bring wounds. In other words, addiction only causes pain and misery. Now, I know this all too well as someone who struggled with addiction for many, many years. It destroyed my marriage, my family, and every other relationship I had. And the biggest lie I told myself was that I had it under control, that I had no real problem because I was a functioning addict. But just like it says in verse 32, in the end, it bites like a serpent and stings like a viper. What I thought I had under control eventually, like a serpent, bit me and destroyed everything in my life. And that is what the cycle of addiction, of addiction does. It not only destroys the addict, but everyone and everything they love. But here's the good news. The cycle can be broken. Jesus is a name above every name, even the name of addiction. When I surrendered my heart to Jesus, he broke that cycle of addiction in my life. And it's only when we deal with the sin issue first by coming into a life-changing relationship with Jesus can that cycle be broken. Now, if you are a follower of Jesus Christ and you are struggling with addiction today, can I just remind you of 1 John 1, 9? He says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Again, I want to encourage you just to repent and to attend Celebrate Recovery. It's every Monday at 630 here, right here at a Sweetwater campus. And if you're not in town, will you look for a Celebrate Recovery near you? It's a place where you can go for your hurts, habits, and hangups. You see, my hope today is that you avoid the vicious cycle of addiction. But if you are struggling with addiction, will you allow Jesus to break it and then take the practical steps to start your road to recovery? I hope you do. God bless you and have a wonderful day.